Good morning guys, it's Matt here. Um, I've had a suggestion from a guy called Rough Moves who wanted to see how I built a map rollout in this video I made here called The Value Engineers. I'm just going to quickly play that. If I scrub through, he is referring to this part here. So we've got this cool little map which comes in and rolls out quite nicely. Um, I actually didn't build this myself, this was my colleague Jennifer who built this, but I helped show her how it would be built. So I'm going to quickly show you how to set this up in Illustrator. So if we go into Illustrator, I've made a quick mock-up. This is an awful map drawing, you guys can spend more on the illustration. So basically all there is is this page curl where if I turn these off you've got this bit which will be the nice flick when it comes over to this end of the page and then we've got a circle at the bottom a circle at the top a nice bit of square which connects it all and this little squiggly spiral which will make it look like it's rolling for the map itself I'll show you how I built that quickly if I go back so it's just a square with some artwork then if you select it all and if you go to effect warp and then there is flag and you want to set this to something quite low like 5% which is what I figured looked quite nice you get this nice little wave if you click OK and that's all there is to the illustrator file really simple stuff oh yeah with the page curl quickly I'm just going to attach it here so when we roll this it'll be attached and then we can end it over there um, so if I save that document quickly let's go into After Effects um, I've already got it open here so let's just discard that for now so if I go to New Project don't save so what you want to do is find your file import it composition retain layer sizes ok and then we'll double click on the composition first of all we'll lock the background color zoom in a bit so I can see so what we want is this to this paper to roll all the way out over here give the effect that it's shrinking and then finally we get this nice little page flick which will reveal the map um, so I'm going to just quickly lock the map because I'm not going to do anything with that first. Um, so we're going to control this movement with a null object. So if we go to the roll, which is this part, if we solo this layer, I usually use a plugin called Motion from Mount Mograph, which is great because you can use this tool here where it would center your anchor point, which is very handy but I'm going to assume you guys don't have that so I'll show you how you can go about doing that without this script so if you zoom right in on the shape and drop a ruler there then if you press Y which gives you the pan behind tool which lets you move the anchor point with the anchor point holding shift you want to drop it to your new ruler so we've got it right on the edge and then if you press V for the black arrow tool again you can then move the ruler we're going to do the same with the circle at the bottom but what we want it in this bottom corner here so if we drop a ruler and again press Y into the bottom corner and finally we need to do it for the top so again solo the layer I've already got the ruler up there and we'll just drop one at the top select our layer place it here. Wonderful. <coughs> so now with the black arrow tool, V, we'll just quickly clean up, get rid of these rulers. So now what we're going to do is go to layer, new, null object, and this is how we're going to control the roll. So we're going to just position this, if we zoom in nicely, 
holding shift as well so we get it on that edge and then we'll quickly name this layer map roll that will do so then we're going to parent everything to this so we get the top circle the bottom circle and the roll parent it to the map roll this little spiral here we're going to parent it to the bottom circle and the page curl will be parented to the map roll as well we're just going to lock and turn the page curl off for now because we don't need to see it <coughs> so what we're going to do now is with the map roll we are going to press P for position if we right click on it and click separate dimensions first of all we're going to animate the right to left movement so if we set a keyframe and then come forward say 20 frames just something here if we hit position keyframe and then we'll just roll it out to the end of the map which is roughly there and then what we can do is come into the graph editor if you select these little buttons here we can make an ease out and an ease in but we want it to go slow to fast so we're going to slightly arc this curve adjust it so something like that and then you can do a quick little preview to see how it's feeling so if we click preview we should have pressed N here which will then crop our timeline preview area so if we do that we can get a feel for how it's rolling out quite a nice movement I'm quite happy with that so I want it nice and slow to a nice fast stop as if it's been flicked out maybe we can just make that a little bit more aggressive yeah that feels nicer cool okay so we've got a nice little rollout jump out of the graph editor um, next thing we're going to do is the spiral we're going to right click on this layer go create shapes and vector layer reposition it back where it is and delete the old one and then to give this a sense of it unrolling we're going to go to add trim paths and then if we animate the end position so if we start here Bearing in mind we need to change to the flick, so about here we will animate the end position to zero. Uh, okay, so there's a slight problem with this. As you can see, the line is unrolling the wrong way. It's an easy fix. If we come into the, the group, we have the path option here. And this little box here is the direction of the path, so we want to reverse it so by selecting that it means our end point changes so now it's unrolling the right way which is great so that's what we want because now we've got this movement and the spiral unrolling which is nice okay so if we hit U on there so we can just see the end position now we're going to animate the scale of our circles here so they look like they're shrinking so if you put a position keyframe there, a position a scale keyframe there, open the other one with S and do the same. And we'll come to about here. Yep, that would be nice. And then we'll knock it to about 20% looks really small actually, let's not do 20, let's go to 40% even though that seems small we'll stick with 40% so we're also going to do it with the roll but we're going to adjust the scale slightly differently we're going to plot a keyframe at the beginning and then when we come to the end if we untick this we can click 40% on the width, so it's the same width as these circles but then if we scale these up we 
because we need to keep that connected so now that's scaled it still has the nice roll so if we zoom out it should scale back evenly so now we get this sense of it unrolling it's nice so what we want to do here is we will turn these layers off and then on the next frame we activate the page curl oh yeah to crop the layers if you hold alt and press the bracket so the open bracket will cut it there and on these ones if I click the close bracket it ends it so obviously I wanted that one to end there so it opens here so now we get this rolling to this page curl which is pretty nice but it probably is coming in too slow so we'll come to about here and close these ones off next frame and open that one there that's looking better so now we're going to add a bit of finesse to this so if we right click on this and go create shapes on vector layer reposition this we'll delete the old one so now we're going to animate the path position of this so if we open up the group until we find the path property so the first frame we want it to look like that and then the last frame is where it settles we want to give it this perspective change as if it folds over itself so if we come into this path positions here click the keyframe so we can adjust the the handles if we select the bottom two the end two sorry and put them somewhere here and select this one and this one and then you want to position them so they're roughly lining up with the map and then we're going to adjust these handles so they flick out and follow the shape of the the map something like that and something like that so now what that's gonna do is you get this unroll and flick out and then the last thing we want to do is this is the dark back of the map so if we select this layer, go to the fill position on the crossover, so here is when it crosses over, we want to keyframe the color. Next frame we are going to select the color of the map, which now gives it a sense of rolling and flicking out. Which is cool. And actually what I've noticed is if I select these end nulls, nulls, handles, we want it to end in line with the edge of the map. Something like that. It doesn't matter if it's rough because what we're going to do you know we'll forget about that what we'll do is just make this the last frame where you can visibly see this so it will roll out flick and turn off revealing our map so we've got this roll and flick so far which is pretty nice but as you can see we've, we're not adjusting for the ups and the downs of the, the map so this is when we're going to animate the Y position So at the end we want the Y position to be the same. And then at the beginning we probably need it to be oh no, that's fine. So we'll come here, roll it up so it looks roughly connected to the map. 
here we'll roll it back down so now we've got this sense of movement following the map roll we could probably just add some nice ease into that if you press F9 or just do some basic easy easing which just make it seem a bit smoother which is quite nice so finally what we're going to do now so we unlock our map and we will go holding command, you click on the map, go to mask, new mask, open up the mask properties, select the keyframe on the path, hit U to close that, and then right at the end we obviously want so on this same frame here, we want our mask to be fully exposed. At the beginning, we'll select these keyframes. Why do I keep saying keyframes? We'll select these handles and drag them over here. So now we have this reveal as it comes out. Obviously, the timings are wrong. So if we open up the editor, we'll just adjust this. This is just going to have to be pretty rough for now, but we want to match the speed using the speed graph. So if I give it a little less, so you would basically drag these handles down, you make this speed curve, and you want to just basically try and match. Obviously, that's not very good, but what we can do is jump in and manually add a few frames so it's good not so good actually let's try that so it's good to about here and we'll jump out put in a new keyframe and then for the end flick let's just see if we can't adjust this a bit I don't use this graph very often, as you can see, this is not working out well. Alright, we'll just do some simple keyframing. So when we get to here, we'll select these, pull it to the edge. This is when frame by frame comes in every now and again. So we want this to turn off a frame earlier so now we've got this roll and flick so if I click preview it's kind of mine's a bit messy as you can see I've got it's not up enough here quickly so if I come to this position raise the Y like it looks like our circles are going to need to be animated as well so if I select the bottom one hit the position and now we'll come to the end because the bottom one was in a nice place position again just down here and again at the start and then at this little point here we're gonna just move it so it lines up and then we're gonna need to adjust the scale of the roll Okay, I'm going to quickly the scale feature for the row isn't going to work the best. So what we're going to do is we're going to create shapes from the row. We'll delete the old one 
and what we'll do is instead of using the y axis to make it increase the length to the circles we will just unlock these layers so this stays at 40% as well so if we match the layers we'll delete the one in the middle I just made and then what we'll do is we'll animate the path position instead to match it to the circles so if I hit U I'm going to have to extend this out and these ones for now and then the path will zoom in and just connect the path like so I'll turn them all back off Now we're going to have to make sure these stay nice and connected. So if we just select certain points in the middle, line them up. Add another one in here. to adjust the position of the top so again we'll check in position at the start come to about here actually we'll come to the end first check a position value and again up the middle here just make it so you can't see the top of the map it's the and then we'll select our path raise that up with it so there we go we have this kind of nice rollout there's a slight little overlap around here on the mask so if I just check in one more keyframe and we'll just oh, position it in the center there and there we have it we've got a quite smooth rollout now obviously you guys could personalize this even further by animating the graph editor on the spiral so it matches the, the speed of the rollout so we had this kind of curve so then if I press command shift H I can turn my handles off we can see the roll feels more natural to the speed of the roll the trim path sorry so the trim path move with the roll which feels a bit nicer So yeah, this is basically quite simple stuff. It's using a position value to move several layers which are on top of a map, which are then revealing the map with a mask. And then we turn the layers off to change the shape to get this nice flick. Because this is still attached to the initial null, then this continues to move. We're changing the path ever so slightly, changing the fill color so it makes this nice flick easy stuff <laughs> so yeah like I said this tutorial was suggested because Rough Moves had watched my videos and he was interested to see how I did this rollout which is great because then it gives me an idea of how to make a tutorial for what you guys are interested in so if you have any other suggestions anybody at all drop me an email at tutorials at mattwilsondesigns.co.uk and I'll happily 
spend some time to put together a tutorial for you. That's about it for today. Um, I'm going to do another one because he was interested to see if I find my... where is it? There it is. He was interested to also find out how we animated this book opening. So it comes in, flies open. Again, this is really simple, but if you don't know how to do it, then a quick tutorial will teach you some workflow. And then you'll be able to use it in your everyday. So I'm going to do another one on this, this passport opening to end this little series of suggestions from rough moves but I've uploaded if you go on my YouTube I recently uploaded professional works which I'm gonna be uploading all my commercial projects but at the minute we have my show reel here if you watch that and there's anything you'd like to see how it's built then drop me an email and I'll help you I'll help build a tutorial so you guys can work that out. Um, anyways, I've probably been a bit mumbly this morning. It's before 9 in the morning. Just about to start work now, so I'm going to have to call it a day. But if you've liked what you've seen, sign up, subscribe to my channel, drop me a comment, and share with your friends. Uh, cheers, guys. Have a nice day.